if I put that into a problem, then it says, in triangle ABC, I have angle A is 39, A is going to be 10 centimeters, and B is going to be 14 centimeters. Well, I can solve H by saying that H is going to equal 14 times sine of 39. And 14 times sine of 39 is going to give me eight point eight centimeters, which means that there's going to be two possible triangles that I can create from here. I can have one where it's going to be an acute angle B. I can have one where it's going to be an obtuse angle B. I'm going to fill in the information that I know that's always going to be the same. This is going to be 39 degrees, this is going to be 14 centimeters, and this is going to be 10 centimeters. Same thing here. 39 degrees, 14 centimeters, and 10 centimeters. When I'm solving the first one, I don't need to change anything about my practice. I'm going to say that in order to solve for angle B, sine of B divided by 14 is going to equal sine of 39 divided by 10, which means that B is going to equal sine to the negative 1 of 14 times sine of 39 over 10, or 62 degrees. Angle C is going to equal 180 minus 39 minus 62 or 79 degrees. And side length C divided by sine of 79 is going to equal side length A divided by sine of 39, which means that side length C is going to equal 10 times sine of 79 divided by sine of 39 or 16 centimeters. Here is one possible triangle. Well, if I take a look back, because I need to figure out what this angle B is in the second case. If I take a look back for a second, I can see that if I'm swinging my triangle, then it's going to be the same distance on this side as it would be on this side, which means that the angle would be, if I thought of it as being in terms of um, uh, from the y-axis, the angle is going to have the same reference angle because it's going to be the same x distance reflected to the right or reflected to the left, which means that when I'm trying to solve for what b is, it's going to have the same reference angle as what this did, but it's going to be obtuse in between 90 and 180 degrees. So I can say for the other angle b, the other angle B is going to wind up being 180 minus the reference angle. The other possibility is going to be at 118 degrees. 
And from there, I'm going to solve everything else the same way. I'm going to say, well, angle C on this side would equal 180 minus 39 minus 118, which would give me 23 degrees. And side length C, same process. C divided by sine of 23 is going to equal 10 over sine of 39, which means that side length C is going to equal 10 times sine of 23 in this case, divided by sine of 39, or 6 centimeters. And these are my two triangles I can create from the exact same information.